press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi viewers, welcome to HVC Simplified. Today's topic of the day is how to calculate GPM for FCU which is also known as fan coil unit and air handling unit. So today in this video we are going to see what are the parameters required to calculate the GPM for any fan coil unit and the air handling unit. Chill water fan coil unit and air handling unit. To calculate the GPM for any particular air handling unit and the fan coil unit, there are different parameters which are required in a HVAC system. For this, we need to understand the supply and the return side of the chill water pipe. Water is passed through these pipes which has flow which is measured in GPM gallon per minute and velocity FPM which is feet per second. Yes, for any fan coil unit, these are the two basic parameters which we need to understand GPM and FPS which is also known as feet per second. So now let us understand the formula of GPM. GPM is equal to TR into 12,000 divided by 500 multiplied by delta t which is further derived to tr into 24 divided by delta t tr is nothing but the tonnage of the fan coil unit or the air handling unit which you get from the calculation so this is the tonnage required for a particular fan coil unit and an air handling unit delta t is equal to chill water return minus chill water supply. Yes, this delta T is important whereas chill water return from the fan coil unit or the air handling unit and the chill water supply from the fan coil unit or the air handling unit. The water which is flowing inside the fan coil unit is known as chill water supply and the water which is coming out of the chill water fan coil unit is known as chill water return. Now let us understand with an example how to calculate and derive the GPM for the any particular unit. Here we have taken an example of a fan coil unit capacity of a 5 ton. Now for a 5 ton fan coil unit you need to derive what is the required GPM. So therefore you need to know the parameters which is known as chill water return sub and chill water supply. Here you can see the chill water return temperature is 55 and the chill water supply is 45. Therefore the delta T which is derived chill water return minus chill water supply is 10 degree Fahrenheit. So here we have to put this formula in the GPM. So therefore GPM is equal to TR into 24 divided by delta T which is nothing but 5 ton multiplied by 12 divided by 10 which is the delta T. So the GPM for any particular fan coil unit which is of a 5 ton capacity based on this parameter is 12 GPM. So therefore based on this particular formula any chill water supply parameters are derived. Thank you very much viewers. Thanks for watching.